Hey, Zach, I'll open up with uh, two quick ones for you. Number one, how stoked are you to get back in the lineup? And number two, uh, you played some of your best hockey in 2017 in the playoffs with fans. Um, how hard is it, uh, you know, how much do you guys miss the fans at least to start the playoffs? Yeah, obviously, I'm very excited to be back. Obviously, uh, missed a lot of time this year. So uh, for me to get healthy uh, heading into the playoffs, uh, I'm very excited, excited to join the group and excited to uh, play our first game tonight. And uh, to your second question, um, the fans, obviously, if you look around the league, we've uh, we've all watched uh, the other playoff games. It's pretty, pretty neat to see them back in the building. But by now, we're used to them and uh, we've got to create our own energy and um, we're really just focused on game one with fans, without fans. It doesn't really matter anymore. We're just ready to rock. Thank you. Jim Matheson, Post Media. Uh, a couple of things, Zach. Can you run us through how you got hurt on the Weber play? Because it didn't. It looked pretty innocuous when you when you saw it happen. I uh, let uh, it happened exactly how it happened. If you look at the replay, I'm sure. You guys have went for a hit, something went, and um, that was that. So, not really uh, anything else to say about it. And and how trying a season has this been for you? In, in that, you know, you haven't. It's tough to gain traction when you you get one injury and then you're out for a month or so, and then you get you come back, you play, and then you're out again. How, how difficult is that for a player to gain any sort of traction? Yeah, it's tough, but injuries are part of the game. I would have uh, loved to sit here and say I would never go through an injury and I'd have career years every year. But unfortunately, pro sports, they throw uh, curveballs at you sometimes. And I'm honestly just excited to get back uh, when the games mean the most here. And I'm excited to help my team any way I can. And um, season's, uh, season's done. This is a new season, and uh, I'm excited to get get going here. Jason Greger, TSN 1260. Tyson, well, and Zach, you can answer second, but... Just, you know, the matchup game, this is to be the 10th meeting between these two teams. You know, obviously that's a little above normal, but do you expect anything different? Um, or, you know, do you approach anything different because you've seen a team so much? Like, you guys have seen playoffs. Have you ever been in a series where a team significantly changed what they did against you in the regular season? Uh, not particularly, but I assume that, you know, with the success we had against them this year, they'll they'll be looking at things and, and watching what other teams did against us to try to make some changes. But um, yeah, I mean, we'll be we'll be prepared for whatever they throw at us, and um, it's a it's a good mindset knowing that we have had success against them. And um, I think they'll probably want to you know try to limit some limit some chances for our big guys. But um, I mean, that's easier said than done. And look, looking ahead, tight. And just to, you know, you and Darnell, you've played predominantly, the, you know, the whole season together. So, you know, you have that continuity. When, in the playoffs, and you have a lot of experience with it, how can you be, you know, do you have to be more cautious defensively or do you have to play exactly the same way as you did, you know, and jump into the rush like you would in a normal regular season? Um, a time of game, I think, is super important in that regard. Um, you know, if you're, if you're down a couple goals, you're obviously going to be jumping, but... Um, to start, you just want to play, you know, what makes you successful all year. And um, I think joining the rush and, and moving the puck quick and getting into play is uh, a big part of my game, a big part of Nursey's game. So we'll look to do that. And then um, obviously with playoffs, you have to defend hard. So, um, you know, we'll look to kind of ramp up the, the physical play and the, and the defending a little bit. But um, you certainly don't want to sacrifice all the offense for that. Derek Van Dies, Post Media. Hi, right, Tyson. Um, I just want to ask you, after watching the first, you know, three or four days of, of playoff hockey, and, and it looks like the refs are letting a, a little go, like they kind of do in the playoffs. They let you kind of work your way out. How important is that power play now for you guys to, to really make teams pay for some of that chippiness that might happen uh, after the whistle or away from the puck type thing? Yeah, I think special teams is always so, so important in playoffs. Uh, like you said, the the chances go down, the opportunities go down. So um, you really got to capitalize when you get one and um, PK the same thing. So you want to try to kill it off when, when you are shorthanded. But um, we've had a, a good power play all year and um, we're a pretty confident group out there. So um, when we do get an opportunity, we'll be, uh, we'll be ready. And Zach, a quick one for you. I just wanted to ask you about what, can, what lessons can you take away from 2017 from that, from that that playoff run going into this one and how much experience do you guys now have because of that run going into this playoff series? 
Yeah, it was a, it was a good run for our group. Obviously, um, you, you learn a lot from going going a, a few rounds in the playoffs. But at the same time, we've had a lot of new players, new fresh blood come in here, and um, it's a new year. It's a different team. It's a different mentality. It's a different mindset. So. The, 2017 really doesn't have any indications how these playoffs are going to be. We're a group that uh, the core guys have been here. Uh, they've matured. They've grown over the years. And um, we're looking to bounce back from a, from a rough playing series last year. So we got a lot to prove. And um, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to get going. Ryan Rashog, TSN. Yeah, Zach, just along those lines, if you analyze your group, what you're capable of right now, in what ways do you think you've grown the most? over the last 10 months as a group? I just think our full 200 foot game, I think our PK has been great, our power play. So our special teams have grown and five on five, I think uh, we defend well, but at the same time we create offense as well. So um, we, can, we can beat you in a number of different ways, um, but obviously we know in the playoffs, things get harder, teams defend harder. And we, uh, we have to work for our chances. We got to get traffic in front. They're going to be dirty goals. I think that's where we've, uh, we've came a long way is, um, to highlight real goals, yeah, we're going to get them. Uh, but at the same time, to score in the playoffs, you're, you're going to have to get dirty. You're going to gonna have to get deflections. You're going to have to have bodies at the net. And uh, you just look at the games played so far. Um, there's not many pretty goals. So um, that's that. Drew Matheson, Post Media. Just a couple of things, Zach. What's it going to be like playing with the rookie, Ryan McLeod? He's going to be very nervous. Uh, what can you do? Uh, Help him out with that uh, in playing his first playoff game. Nah, he's a good player. He's uh, he's fit right in with this group. Um, he skates so well. He's big. He's strong. He makes plays. So um, obviously, I think all of our groups gonna have butterflies going into the game. It's a uh, it's a playoff game. Uh, we've been sitting around for a little bit, so we're all gonna have those butterflies. But at the same time, um, as a line, as a team, just talk through through the motions of the game and. Um, just be ready to go get to that first timeout, get everyone in the game, and uh, Cloud will be fine. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing with them tonight. And you've got the classic goatee now, not the mutton chops. Why did you change? Ah, change is good, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just was wondering if it was something you were planning all along or you just decided you'd give it a shot. Okay. Yeah. Super. Thank you. Paul Gazzola, Oilers TV. Hey, Zach, just um, looking at the games that have been played so far and specifically the opening 20 minutes, they seem like really chaotic and physical periods. Uh, how do you weather that early storm and does it play to your favor? Well, how do you weather it? I think you got to take care of the puck. I think uh, simplicity is the, the best recipe early on in the game. Obviously, both teams are chomping at the bit to get going here. So I think uh, you want to play mistake-free hockey. You want to keep it simple, get pucks in, get pucks out. I know it sounds cliche, but that's... Uh, First couple of shifts to get everyone in it. That's what we're going to have to do to uh, kind of weather their storm. And I'm sure they're saying the same about us. Thanks.